Hi friend, and welcome back to Marvelous Friends, your home for all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and beyond. I'm Rhett, and today is Funko Friday, which means we are discussing a complete collection, or mostly complete collection, of Funkos. Before we get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's roll that credit. All right, so this is Funko Friday. It is a new series that I'll be doing on the channel. It won't be every Friday. Um, it'll be just kind of as there is a collection to talk about. Uh, because I end up getting most of them anyways, eventually I've decided to, whenever possible, especially if it's a collection that I am really interested in, to go ahead and buy all the ones within that collection I want to or am able to and talk about them as a collection here on the channel. And then I will discuss any of the ones I don't purchase or I'm not able to find um, still at the end of this, but I'll just include generic pictures of them. Um, but let's start off with the ones I bought. This one is going to be for the Black Widow film series. Um, so these are all Black Widow Funkos based upon the upcoming movie. Um, so let's start off with the two that you might have already seen on this channel. These first two come from a Collector Coors box. I subscribe to the partnership with Funko and Amazon, their subscription box, the Marvel Collector's Core, uh, and they, of course, in the month of May, had a box that was themed on the Black Widow film itself. So I got two Funkos in that uh, for the film that were exclusives to the Collector's Core. The first one is the Black Widow herself. This is a bobblehead featuring her with a grappling gun. There were several versions of of the Black Widow with various weapons. So this one is with a grappling gun. The cool detail about this one is the grappling gun is kind of shooting off in the launching position. So there's some dynamic movement with it, which is really cool and something different. Um, rather than just it being her holding the grappling gun. Um, she also features a little bit of bruising, she's a little roughed up, um, and she actually has a bloody nose as well. So some interesting details here for this one. Um, despite her bloody nose and her bruising and dirt all over, her hair is nice and neat, so that's kind of funny. Um, something I would think they probably would have done something with, kind of made her hair a little crazier maybe, um, not so neat and tidy. But um, yeah, this is one, again, was an exclusive from the collector's course. You could only get this one through the collector's core or if you bought it on eBay or something like that uh, but yeah this one was really cool the next one also from the collector's core was really neat this is Alexi um, out of his Red Guardian suit and he is actually holding an action figure of the Red Guardian as well here we do see him a little beat up as well he has a cut above his eye um, and a couple bruises one on his cheek one on his um, kind of temple on the other side. Um, again, street clothes, um, more of a standard positioning, but the cool detail here is the fact that he's holding the little action figure, and it's kind of a fun, different thing where we're seeing some, both of these have kind of more unique, um, fun accessories that they're featured with, um, rather than just kind of holding something as they standardly are. There were also two Walmart exclusive Funkos. I ended up not getting either of these just because I chose not to. Um, one of them was a Taskmaster Funko. I really enjoy the villain of Taskmaster. I'm really excited that he's going to be a part of this film. However, I just ultimately decided not to get this version of him. The Walmart exclusive, as you can see, features him in the copycat of Black Panther, so he has the claws out. We also saw this in the trailer, him watching footage specifically of Black Panther, and we know that he does some mimicry of his fighting style in the film because of this, and we know that he is equipped with the Panther claws. Um, I just didn't like this positioning of Taskmaster out of the different ones that were available, so I opted to go with other ones. I did still get two of the Taskmasters, but I just ultimately decided not to get this one. The other um, Walmart, excuse me. The other Walmart exclusive was a Black Widow again. This one, she's holding her little Reaper um, picks. Um, you'll see them in the photo here as it rolls by. Um, Again, there were just so many Black Widows to pick from. Uh, I decided not to get this one as well. It saved me a special trip of trying to find these at Walmart, which sometimes can be very difficult with the exclusives. I normally will go through the trouble of finding an exclusive, especially if it's one that I really, really like. But out of the options, these two exclusives just weren't necessarily my favorite of the collection, so I 
ultimately decided not to hunt them down. Um, they are really cool. Um, let me know down in the comments if you got one of these two exclusives from Walmart and what you think of them comparatively to the others in the collection. I'd really love to know. Uh, but yeah, I ultimately decided that these Walmart ones, though they were neat, I decided for myself personally not to hunt them down and go get them when I was perfectly happy with other ones, um, especially considering I don't necessarily want a bunch of Taskmasters, considering how many Taskmasters we're getting right now, because um, he's a very popular character. And same thing with Black Widow. There's just so many Black Widows out there right now, but I just didn't feel like also picking that one up. Moving on to ones I did get again, um, we'll start off with Taskmaster. Um, this is his more traditional weapon lineup that we see him in the comic books with his shield, which very much so he mimics Captain America. Um, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of mimicry of the Red Guardian since he also features a shield in the upcoming film, and then he has his sword. So I had to get this one because it is more true to traditional comic book Taskmaster because of the, the weaponry of choice in this one. Um, I really like the design of Taskmaster for this film, how they've interpreted it um, with his skull head and everything like that. So I'm really excited for this. I really liked this one because it was the traditional one. Again, I thought this one um, was a little bit more interesting than the Walmart exclusive because he had more to him with holding the weapons and everything like that. I did ultimately also get the bow and arrow Taskmaster. Um, his hood is down in this one. Actually, I don't believe he's wearing his hood at all, or at least it's down because it's small with in portion of his body you can't see it um, but this he is wielding his bow and arrow I got this one because it of course is him copying Hawkeye which is gonna be a big part of the film and I honestly would not be surprised if we see a little Hawkeye cameo in this film we know that we're gonna be seeing Tony Stark as played by Robert Downey Jr. at some point in the film and because we do know that he it, a key as in Taskmaster is going to be mimicking Hawkeye. Um, we might get to see him at some point beyond just footage. Um, like I said, with the Black Panther Funko version of Taskmaster, we know that we'll be seeing footage of the Black Panther uh, being watched and studied by Taskmaster. I'm sure we'll see some footage of Hawkeye, um, but it'd be very fun um, to have a surprise cameo from Clint as well in the film, especially for me personally because I'm such a Hawkeye fan. Um, out of the two, I'll probably display this one and hold on to the sword and shield one um, just because this is a lot different than the other Taskmaster that we got in another collection that recently came out about the same time, um, but that's a different video. Uh, but yeah, I really, liked, I really liked this one and I couldn't decide between this one and the sword and shield, uh, which is why I picked up both of them. Moving on to my next one, it is the Black Widow I picked up in the store. Um, this is the only Black Widow I bought at the store. Of course, I got the Black Widow in the Collector's Core um, subscription box, but this is her in her white suit, um, and she has kind of her whip batons that she'll be using as her primary weapon, I believe, in this film. Um, I liked this one because the suit was different, um, because she hasn't worn a white suit in any, well, she, the, time jumping suit is white but this style of suit is something very different from what she has worn in the past so I thought it was a lot more unique to this film so I like this one a lot more um, which is why I got this one specifically um, also the weapons were really cool in this one um, which is why I decided to go with this one over say the Walmart exclusive there was also a, another just um, generally available Black Widow as well, which I decided not to get. I will have that picture slide across for you as well real quick so you can see it. Um, this is just her traditional um, streetwear look, which is why I didn't get it. I was kind of like meh on that one. I just, I really didn't think it was that interesting or fun um, for a Funko. So I decided not to get that one as well, just to save a little bit of money because there was a couple uh, various collections that seemed to come out at the same time. So I was spending a lot of money. And so I ultimately was like, I don't really care for this one out of the collection. So I'm not gonna buy it personally. Um, but again, I would love to know what you thought of all the different Black Widows, Widows, excuse me, that were available. Which one was your favorite? Was it the white suit, her street clothes, or the Walmart exclusive. There were just so many between the Taskmaster and Black Widow that I couldn't I couldn't get them all. I don't have space for to display them all, and just storing them all doesn't really make them necessarily all that worth it for me, especially if I'm not a super fan of it. Um, so I didn't I didn't get the streetwear one either, much like I didn't get the Walmart exclusives. Next, we have the Yelena uh, Belovo, Belova. Bleh, that's a hard name to say. Yelena Belova. Um, her Funko, this is her with her kind of bow staff here. Again, in that white 
uh, uniform look um, from when they are out, I believe, in the Russian tundra. Um, so I'm expecting to definitely see some snowy, icy scenes. Um, she's also featuring that same kind of army green vest that is on the one that we have in the Collector's Core exclusive, that kind of very combat bulletproof kind of style, um, which is really nice because it kind of separates the two white suits from each other, um, really establishing both Yelena and Natasha as two different Black Widows, um, which I like. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice one. Um, I'm considering there was so many of the other characters, I'm surprised there was only one Yelena and only one Red Guardian. There wasn't um, store exclusives and stuff like that, um, considering that the others had so many and had multiple exclusives. But um, yeah, I mean, this is a this is a nice one. I enjoy it. Um, I'm excited to see how Yelena plays into everything. Um, there's been a lot of rumors regarding her role and how she'll potentially be taking over the mantra of Black Widow moving forward in the MCU. So I'm excited to see how all that plays out um, with her character. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's a it's a good Funko. I don't know. I might do a little display somewhere with all of these. I'm hoping at some point to actually have an apartment or a house um, in the near future where I could have an office studio space and maybe have a whole display bookcase for these and I can display the collections and characters that relate to each other together um, in a fun way and then of course that would make some fun videos for you guys as I let you see and explore my ever-changing display of Funkos just because right now in my apartment I don't have a lot of space to display all these Funkos um, so I do have to be a little bit selective when I'm purchasing but I am always tempted just to buy them all um, but anyways getting off topic let's talk about the final Funko that I have in this collection. And that, of course, is the Red Guardian Funko. This is Alexi in his full gear. Um, I'm not too familiar with the Red Guardian. I know he's essentially the Russian version of Captain America, but beyond that, I don't have a lot of context for him. So I'm excited to see more about him in the upcoming film and learn more about him. Um, of course, I do know from the context of the movie that he is kind of retired, um, older than what he used to be when he was kind of full-time Red Guardian. So it's fun. Um, I like the look of his suit. Um, I like that it kind of shows that his suit has been through it and isn't as new as it once was because you see some kind of weathering around the face plates, which oddly enough, you don't see on the picture. So is that supposed to be like that? Let me know down in the comments um, if you have the Red Guardian and yours also has kind of like that silvery scuff look around the faceplate and that's not just mine messed up or something like that because usually whatever is on here, even if it's like wear and tear of the character, is also displayed on the box image um, and that's not. So that has me kind of question marking or maybe this is a chase or something like that but usually if it's a chase it has some kind of sticker. Um, I feel like I would have and I don't remember in the store whether the other ones look like this as well. So let me know down in the comments um, if your uh, Red Guardian has that as well. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of distracted by that now, um, to be honest. But that is the full collection. Um, let me know, like I said, everything I've asked you already and what Funkos from this collection you picked up. As far as the ones I like the most, probably are the Taskmaster ones. I really enjoy them. Um, I like the character. He's one of my kind of favorite villains from the comic books, and so I'm really excited to finally see him in the MCU. I hope he's a really good villain, and since we're seeing him in the past, this sets him up to appear again in the future because I really want to see more of what we saw with Thanos, where we see overlapping villains coming back and all that um, in films because it just makes them much more dynamic. It makes them much more true to how they are in the comic books because very rarely are there villains that are one-off. Um, they constantly pop back up in various franchises and are continuing problems for um, the Avengers and the various characters. So I hope we get to see him again um, in the future, especially considering, again, the context of this film being kind of in the past. Uh, what, of course, was your favorite Funko from this collection? Let me know down in the comments with everything else I told you. Uh fill up my comments um, with this video. Uh, that's gonna do it for today. Of course, as always, I would appreciate it for the channel if you give this video a like, if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe and set the alerts to catch all my future content on the channel. Until then though, I hope you all have a marvelous rest of your day. Bye friend.